All right, so new this morning, the California Privacy Protection Agency says uh, its enforcement division is looking into data that's collected by cars. Joining us this morning to discuss those concerns surrounding this, the agency's head of enforcement, Michael Macko. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, for those who may not be in the know, what does CV stand for? And what kind of data is being collected? Yeah, CV refers to uh, connected vehicles okay. and in that whole ecosystem that governs these vehicles. And you know, to answer your question, let me start by telling you about why this is so important to us yeah. at the agency. Uh, so in 2020, Californians actually voted to create this agency, the California Privacy Protection Agency. It's the first agency in the country that's dedicated to consumer privacy and data protection. Okay. And uh, we're looking at Connected, this connected vehicle ecosystem to understand how this works. Because cars now, they know uh, where we're going, mm -hmm. where we've been, they right. know how long we're there. In many cases, they know what we're listening to, what we're watching, if it has an infotainment system. In many cases, they even know why we were there, if it's connected to a calendar and a smartphone. Right. So these are very much computers on wheels. And uh, the concern that we have is to understand how privacy rights of consumers are being respected and honored in this very complex web. Yeah, so what are some of those privacy uh, concerns uh, and what are some of those privacy rights that California consumers have? Well, California has uh, very important rights that are given to consumers for privacy. Uh, one of them is a very basic right to know what information, uh, what personal information businesses have about a consumer. Mm -hmm. Another is the right to delete that information. Another is a right to uh, correct inaccurate information and the right to opt out of the sale or sharing of certain information for advertising purposes. Now there are a lot of exceptions kind of within that and, and, and rules, but that's the gist of it and they're very important uh, rights. So your agency is conducting an audit. Uh, what are you looking at? Well, we're conducting a review to understand better this this web, this interconnectedness between cars and the outside world. And Mike, I don't know, what was your first car? It was like a beat down 1980 BMW that barely <laughs> held on. Okay, so yeah. 1980 BMW, uh, whatever technology existed in that car, or that existed in cars in the 90s, 2000s, whenever, Yeah. that data that it had about you kind of went to the junkyard or it stayed in the parking lot, sure. right? What we're talking about now, the way cars are, that information about you is leaving the car and it is going to cellular providers, it's going to uh, data networks, it's going to um, uh, servers that, that hold the information, it's going all sorts of different places. So we want to understand how all that works together yeah. and how rights uh, of Californians are, are being protected and not being lost in the shuffle. All right, so real quick, if somebody wants to submit a complaint to the CPPA, how do they do so? Well, we have a complaint form right on our website where consumers can go, they can read about the rights because they are uh, important. Uh, and there's a link right at the top that says file a complaint. You can submit a complaint there. And we'll be able to get it and, and take a look. All right, Michael Macko, thank you so much for your time this Thanks morning. Thanks for having really me. Really appreciate it. Brandy, toss it back to you.